Welcome into the second episode of our Big 12 Silver Series. I'm your host, Morgan Uber, and I am thrilled to have you with me. Today, we turn our attention to the Iowa State Cyclones. In each of the last three seasons, under head coach Matt Campbell, Iowa State is just one of two Big 12 teams to appear in the college football playoff rankings. The other, the same program that gave Campbell his very first signature win in the Big 12 back in 2017, the Oklahoma Sooners. The Campbell era has featured some of the most prolific offenses in Iowa State history. With all Big 12 quarterback Brock Purdy, the records have fallen in total offense, passing offense, passing touchdowns, yards per play, numerous school records. However, most all of the rushing records, those still belong to the two-time All-American running back Troy Davis. The 25-year history for the Cyclones in the Big 12 begins there. In 25 years of Big 12 football, Iowa State has had many legendary players and historic games. But in the beginning, no team hit the ground running quite like the Cyclones and Troy Davis. In 1996, Davis raised the curtain on the conference with a record-setting season, rushing for over 2,000 yards, including an amazing 378 against Missouri. 43,000 people here knew Troy Davis was going to get the ball. Missouri stacked everything they possibly could. Troy did it. In the end, Davis finished second in the Heisman race while being named the first ever Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year. From the roots of a great running back to a new team tradition in 2000, a gritty group of battle-tested players took their will to win onto the field for a collision course with history. This Iowa State group, they really laid it out on the field. The bright season ends in sunshine and a trip to Phoenix for the Insight.com Bowl, the first Iowa State Bowl game in over two decades. And with thousands of loyal fans in the stands, the Cyclones finished what they started. Touchdown, Jermaine Phillips! How about that? Iowa State has won it. Their first bowl victory in history. With a new tradition in place, a new star arrives on the scene in 2001. Seneca Wallace takes over at quarterback and quickly becomes one of the most exciting players in college football. In 2002, Seneca again put Iowa State in the national spotlight, leading the Cyclones to some great victories with some amazing plays. It was a season of signature wins and signature moves, because when Texas Tech came to town, Seneca Wallace rolled out one of the most memorable plays in Cyclone history, simply known as the run. Oh my goodness, what a run by Wallace! On to 2004, where the Cyclones made history with their first Big 12 championship, winning a share of the North title behind the debut of a dynamic duo, freshman quarterback Brett Meyer and receiver Todd Blythe, who stepped into the spotlight and shined for four years. The 2004 season ends in the Independence Bowl, where first-team all-conference cornerback Ellis Hobbs finishes his brilliant career in style with the game-clinching interception. From one bowl run to another, in 2009, the Paul Rhodes era begins at Iowa State with some big wins, including a stunner at Nebraska. The season culminates with a trip to the Insight Bowl and a game with Minnesota, where the Cyclones finish their mission. Over the next few years, there's some magical Cyclone moments, including defeating Iowa in triple overtime. In 2011, linebacker A.J. Klein becomes the first Cyclone to win Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Speaking of history, it also happened in 2011 on an epic evening against second-ranked Oklahoma State, where the gutty Cyclones toppled the Cowboys and blew up the BCS. They did it! Unbelievable win! A great moment for sure, but as a program, the Cyclones were looking to go to a new level. And in 2016, Iowa State raised the standard. The Matt Campbell era was off and running, and there was no doubt attitude and effort was leading the way. And in 2017, greatness emerged. The Cyclones knock off number three, Oklahoma. 
an incredible victory. This is the stunningest upset in college football this season. The season finishes in the Liberty Bowl against Memphis with one more Cyclone celebration on the way. What a great team win and what a fitting end to this fantastic football season. So now the future has never looked brighter for Cyclone football, where the roots of attitude and effort have led to a tradition of toughness. So with the legends of the past along for the ride, the Cyclones continue to choose greatness. What you're doing is really powerful. What you're doing doesn't happen anywhere else. You're teaching us the champion's pathway. 